setting up your working trial balance. And I we've seen this over and over again where people connect with us on support and they still have everything in their working trial balance set to default. Or maybe they've only set a couple of things and we say, hey, did you know you could do this? So these settings I'm about to show you are for your workstation. This does not affect anybody else, okay? So some of the things that we can do in the trial balance. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go back to my caseware here and let me just open up my working trial balance. Okay, this is default. This is ugly, all right? So first of all, we can see that there's a lot of wasted space here. As a matter of fact, you actually don't even see amounts in here right now. We don't see balances. So I'm going to do a few things quickly to uh, optimize my working trial balance to where I want it. So it looks the way I want it. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to get on the lines between the columns, hold down my left mouse button and just drag these columns over a little bit. I'm gonna get rid of all this white space. And as I do that, you notice that you're starting to see some amounts over on the right. So that's the first thing we're gonna do. And we need to make sure that we don't actually clip information in here. So for example, if I go down just a little bit here on my map number, if I drag this in a little bit too much, then we're clipping that data. Obviously that's way too too much so just you know adjust that to where you don't see a lot of extra space on the white side on the right side the next thing I'm going to do is I'm looking here at this type and it says balance sheet well you know that's actually using up an awful lot of valuable real estate so what I'm going to do is click on tools I'll go into options and under general I'm going to set this list table list field style from descriptions, I could set it to entry codes and you'll see that balance sheet becomes BS. So it's shorter. Lori's waiting to see if I say and sometimes it is, but <laughs> okay. But we can set that down to, we've done this a couple of times and we can set this down to entry codes, all right? So uh, I'm gonna do that and that's my preference and I recommend that under table list field style, you set this to entry codes because what that is is just a single character in each column. And you know what, if I don't know what this is, I can just click on it and it tells me it's balance sheet. It tells me that it's debit. It tells me, you know, what is the code on a particular item. So I don't need to waste a lot of real estate on this. So as you see, as I do this, we're starting to see more amounts coming in on the right. That's really the idea behind this. Now, the next thing that I can do is if there's a column that I'm never going to use, for example, this tax code column, for me, I don't need this information on my screen. If you just point to the column heading, right click on that column heading, you can choose hide tax uh, code, export code. So if I do that, we do not see the column. Now, that has not deleted the data from this client. So if, if somebody else needs to see that, no problem. Okay, for example, if we had the budget balances column on and I don't need to see that, I can right mouse click and hide that column and it's still in the file, but I'm not looking at it. I don't have to scroll past it. You know, another one here that we, we mentioned is the lock column. I don't know how many of you use it, but the idea here is if you actually put a check mark in it, it prevents people from making further changes to that particular account. But a lot of people are not using this column and they just have left it on there. I'm gonna right click on that. I'll, I'll hide the lock column so we take that one out as well, okay? Now, one more thing that I'm looking at, and this is why we called it Vertigo, because depending on your resolution, you may be scrolling left and right to be able to see information that you'd like to just have on the screen when you first look at it. For example, my Giphy code is far over on the right side here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move it over so it's sitting beside the map number column. And the way I do that very quickly is I can right click on the map number column and I can choose reorder columns, okay? So what I'm doing is on the left window, these are the columns that we currently are displaying in the working trial balance. On the right side, these are other columns that we could bring in if we need to, but I'm trying to get rid of stuff, so I'm not gonna be doing that today. So here's the Giphy. Now, what I'm gonna do is use the up arrow and it's actually moving the column over to the left. So I'm moving it up until I see that it's sitting beside the map number column. So let me just move this up a little bit. So here we go. One more, so I've got map number and then I have Giphy. That's the way I want it, so I'll click on OK. And you can see that it's moved the map number, uh, the Giphy column, so it's right beside the map number. Awesome, okay. 
Now, this white background, let's deal with that. I call this wallpaper. So we can put wallpaper on the working trial balance on, you know, if we went into adjusting journal entries, there's no background on this right now either. So we're going to put some wallpaper on. So we're clicking on tools, we're going over to options, and again, under general, we're going to choose color scheme okay so for the table appearance what is the color scheme now if we click on it there's quite a few here some of them are pretty funky for example uh spectrum i, I was gonna say try rainbow oh spectrum it's kind of it's kind of like that right? rainbow yep like a box of fruit loops uh that's a little bit too cheery for me so i'm going to choose a different one here so let me just go down and for me the one that i like is ledger pad because i'm ancient and this is what paper used to look like remember that stuff where we wrote out huge trial balances we folded it in okay so that's for me i like that and it really groups accounts sort of into three or four so i can very quickly you know my eye as i'm going across on the row or all the properties of the account i can see that quite easily uh, so i think for me that's quite helpful now another thing in this working trial balance is sorting columns a lot of times we have this working trial balance sort by account number. So if I clicked on the heading account number, it's sorted by account number. The problem with account number is it's actually the client's account numbers, not ours. So if I look at this, you know, Lori, you've done this before, uh, QuickBooks, where they automatically assign yes. account numbers. Sometimes those account assignments are kind of random. And if we, if we sort it by account number, we could have cash accounts sitting all over the place. Is that right? Yes, I think so. I mean, maybe yeah. they fixed that, but no, it it's still the same. You still have to. You either have to put in um, all the account numbers for each of the GL accounts, and then turn them back off when you give them to your client. Or if you don't do that, then you're going to probably want to sort it in map number order so the trial balance makes some sense. Oh, now you're taking the thunder from me here. Absolutely. So <laughs> what I'm going to do instead of sorting by account number, I'm going to click on the heading map number. So I'm clicking on the column heading here. This to me is a much better way to sort the accounts once you've assigned your mapping, because what it does is draw all the accounts of similar type together. So now, you know, we can see that all of these accounts here, they're all assigned to cash. So right away, when I'm looking at these accounts, you know, I'm seeing what we're putting together for cash on the financial statement. So that is very helpful. And, and the thing is the map numbers are the same in every client file. So when you click on map number, you're sorting the accounts the same way for every engagement, which is helpful. Now, if I click, keep on clicking on this map number heading, you see that we toggle between some different views. You haven't broken anything. It's just that if you had a more complicated mapping structure, you can have subfolders for map numbers, but we keep things nice and simple. The simplified chart of map numbers, we don't really need to do this. So if I just keep clicking on that heading, I will toggle my way through back to what I wanted here, which was by map number. One more thing I'm going to mention on the working trial balance is this fold line. So as I scroll over to the right, notice that the map number is staying on the screen here, but everything to the right of that has disappeared. So the Giphy column is disappearing as I move over to the right. Now you can actually set that fold line anywhere you want, and it's very easy to do. All you do is move to the right side, in this case, the Giphy column, and just right mouse click at that location. Now there is a very faint dotted line here between Giphy and type, but I can notice here at the bottom that my scroll bar is starting after the Giphy column. So now when I scroll to the right, it stays on the screen, okay? So if I wanted to, under the View tab, you see there's an option to enable and disable the fold line. So if I click on that, I have disabled the fold line. And now when I move to the right, nothing is staying fixed on the screen. So if you're going, hey, I don't see that fold line, all you have to do is click on the View tab, and click on this little fold with the lock on it, and that will enable the fold line. So now when you're moving to the right, things stay fixed on the left side, okay? So if you've done all that, congratulations. If you haven't done all of that, take a look at making some of those changes to your working trial balance, because it just makes things more efficient, which is good. Did I leave anything out there, Lori? No, I don't think so. I, I think, think you covered that really well, actually. That is, wow. you know, it sounds really funny. Um, those are sort of simple things that you can do to customize your desktop. 
but I can't tell you the number of times that we connect with people and they've just squeezed up columns and made them smaller in order to scroll past. Yeah. And because this is a uh, workstation setting, once you set it once, then it applies to all your files. So it really does make sense to just set it up once the way that you'd like it, and then you you have it for all the files you open. Yeah, I think so.